What up everybody, so the Halloween raid event is now over. I didn't go hard. I'm mainly trying to still save and go hard in uh, Dominion. But I got, what's that, six supers for individual. And two supers as a troop. I'm going to go ahead and try and get some more stones out of the cave. So I'm still trying to get 30,000 stones. Come on, give me some stones. I don't need specials. Especially those two. Now oh well. So I'm at 24,379 stones. So if I don't get it before Battle Royal starts, I should get it pretty fast into the Battle Royal. That's what my team looks like for Battle Royal. Still cannot get a Capricorn Might Sprite. It's just impossible to get one. No, Everybody's just being so dang greedy. Always wanting more. I just want a simple Zodiac change. And nobody seems to help me out with it. I might spin on a... Do like maybe three spins on one of my alternate accounts. Maybe you can get a, a Grandomatic feeder for that. Or maybe a Might Sprite feeder. Or maybe even uh, one of those siege, siege Beasts or whatever. Yeah, still waiting. The stones to do this. So that'll be in a few days. Nothing else is really going on. I was able to bring in my Scarface account into this troop to just to collect a, the super reward tier because we net we had an empty spot in the troop, and I think I we got about a three or four more day wait. Before the giveaway winners can start getting their gifts. So, three or four more days, those guys will get all their gifts. And then you guys can trade me any crappy super you want in order to get, get these guys. These mild fires. 
I looked at this earlier. Nothing really good in here. Except, this would be fairly decent, but I don't have enough. And I'm obviously not going to trade away the giveaways. I also don't know if uh, nine supers are worth one ultra. I think it should be a little bit less than nine supers. But, I don't know. I do still have a bunch of other ones. But still not nine of them. Not there. I got five others. But I'd rather use those as passive or passive and Arbus changes than to maybe get a crappy R Ultra. Which you'd probably just end up eating anyways, and that still has a chance of failing at our boosting. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe someday it will actually be a trade in here that I will actually do. Alright, so enough about Battle Camp for the time being. Gonna update you guys on uh, my Pokemon Go account. I've reached level 31. This Dragonair has been my buddy for a while. I've walked 80 kilometers with it now. And thanks to this event, this Halloween event that's been going on, Happy Halloween, by the way. I hope you guys all got a lot of candy. I was finally able to get my gold ghost type medal. And what do you know? There's a kitty here. But, uh, this is my new beast, my 98% Dragonite, all maxed out for my trainer level. So I got one really good Pokemon. I just need three more candy, then I can max this guy out for my trainer level. I got a bunch of Pokemon in gyms, I think I'm in like 12 gyms right now. My Venusaur, I just put in a gym today. He's maxed out. I'd like to get this guy back from a gym. He's been in a gym for like a month or so. He's probably my best Norlax. So I'd like to power him up a little bit more. Maybe max him out. But in order to do that, I'd have to make him my buddy or something. To get some more Snorlax candy, because... Without the maps working, I can't get in me get a lot of candy really. I think I got six power ups left on this guy for him to be maxed out. So hopefully I can find some more Charmanders soon. Or hatch some. Oh yeah. Look at this from the event. I'm, uh, I'm set to do, I believe, two more Lucky Eggs worth of Evolves. Oh, yeah, and this guy's labeled 49ers versus Bills because I actually caught this guy while I was at the stadium watching the game. And it's pretty cool. Even though it's not very great, but a little memento. Somewhere in here is the ghastly line. Got all these Meowths to evolve up. For XP. We got 402 Meowth candy. Oh, and I did hatch a Growlithe. Not that one. I hatched this one. This one. 
Yeah, it was that one. I hatched this guy. This was probably the best hatch that I had during this event. I hatched four 10Ks. And the first two were Magmars, then a Pinsir, and then an Eevee. So, pretty bad luck on the 10K eggs. Yeah, look at all these ghastlies. So I'm going to basically turn all of them into haunters. Then transfer them. Because I have 719 ghastly candy. And I've already done it before. I've already done, I think, two lucky eggs during this event. What? Which was like 120 evolves. I already made a couple more Gengars, even though I didn't really need to. I've also caught a few during the event, including this one, CP27. I believe I also caught this one. Yep, the 27th. And this guy was caught on the 27th. So same day. Got a whole bunch of Hypnos. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of Cubones to evolve up. I got about 300 candies there. So I've evolved a bunch of those. I've already made a bunch of Marowaks. Should transfer a bunch of those away. These are the two Magmars that I hatched, unfortunately. So I got 133 Magmar candy. As if Magmar was really good or something, but it's not. And this is the pincer that I hatched. So I got three of my Gyarados and Gyms. One of my Lapras, which was my best one. I got two Vaporeons and Gyms. Two Snorlaxes. And just one Dragonite in a Gym. Hopefully I'll get this guy into a really tough and strong gym either t tomorrow or the next day there's a gym not too far from me where it, it's like all 3000 plus CP level 10 gym it's very probably the strongest gym in my entire area so I'll try and get into that one and see where I rank in it Alright, well, I'm not going to bore you guys to death with a whole bunch of Pokemon Evolves, but I'm going to do them. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and have a good one.